Hi, this is Ennis from Never Stop Trucking, and today I'm presenting to you our newest software. Uh, Emro and I have been working on this for a while now. We have been testing it uh, in our companies, and we are proud to present uh, something uh, that's not available on the market right now, not in this format. Emro has built this. 100% and I am the one that had uh, some suggestions and I'm the one that's uh, supposed to, to present it to you uh, but uh, like everything else uh, he knows how to do these things and uh, let me show you right away what it is uh, it is a driver uh, load management system all right and uh, here uh, on the left side behind me is all the information for the driver and their phone numbers and the truck numbers and all that and then I'll move that in a minute uh, I might blur out uh, some of this information because these are our drivers uh, with their phone numbers and all that uh, but you will be able to see what it uh, looks like all right so let's do it right now as you can see here on the left uh, it will show invoiced and these are the laws that have been invoiced in this short video I'm not going to be able to explain everything uh, all the instructions and how to do everything I just want to show you what it's capable of doing so here on uh, top you see uh, all different tabs and uh, we can build uh, as many tabs for you or you can build them yourself as you want and uh, that uh, comes in especially handy uh, if you are a dispatching company working with multiple MC numbers and uh, they might have multiple trucks under that MC number and you can separate them by tabs. Or if you're a trucking company, uh, what you can do is you can uh, separate uh, owner operators and company drivers, uh, the load boards, etc. And um, um, in this uh, load board, I'm just going to call it a load board uh, or driver load board, you can do a lot of things. You can become creative and you can do some things that I haven't even told you about. It's all up to you. But you'll see it's very easy. It's very intuitive uh, to do. And um, this uh, driver load board uh, tracker uh, is uh, useful for trucking companies and for dispatching companies. And the way it works is um, when you uh, purchase a subscription for the program, uh, we will uh, do uh, a one-time free setup for you, all right? Uh, we will set up uh, the way you like it and uh, depending on what kind of company you are and then I'll show you right now what it can do for you. So this here uh, is our load board for this company. So I'm just going to go here to board view and then it will show uh, all the uh, trucks that uh, we are working on right now. So here you can see that this uh, load is in progress and this uh, truck is empty. Uh, here it shows their information for the driver, all right? And uh, it shows the load they're on, uh, the, the unit number and trailer, where they picked up, where they're going to, and the due date. The due date will change color. For example, this one is um, due date today. And that will tell us that we need a load for today. It has the rate. It has the profit for that load. All right. So when you click, when you double click on this load, then you get all the information here uh, about the load, about the driver that's doing it. And you can change the information here. All right. You can change the status. Uh, we will add uh, different statuses so you can change it to loaded, uh, unloaded, the loading, um, at delivery, uh, in transit, things like that. But uh, we decided for us that these are enough, uh, these uh, five tags, all right? That's, and you can change them right here, all right? Uh, so just uh, like this one is in progress, so it means that the driver is on this load. And then it will automatically uh, show you the RPM uh, based on the rate that you put in and the loaded and that had miles. So when you put that in uh, and the rate, then it will show the RPM, uh, it will uh, show you the month uh, that uh, the load has been done in and the week. And this is good uh, for later when you want to do reports or separate uh, like this week's loads and compare them to last week's loads and, and months. Then you can separate them, you can group them together by this and you can compare the profits and the RPMs and such. Uh, so now we have a uh, 
Uh, this is based on what we put in uh, in uh, the driver section. The, this is a company driver, and this driver will be uh, getting paid uh, this much money. This is how uh, much this load is costing us, uh, the profit on the load. And then you can choose here whether that's a company or uh, owner operator. And then what's nice here is that you can uh, add attachments. So when you click on this, uh, it will show you the rate confirmation. So when you book a load, you will attach a rate confirmation. All right. So that's the rate confirmation for that load. And when that driver is uh, done, then uh, you can uh, add the bill of lading. So I'll show you right here. As you can see here, uh, these are invoiced. So when you double click on this load, you can see that we have a rate confirmation here and the bill of lading. And uh, this comes in handy when you're doing invoices. Uh, let me tell you, this has uh, saved me at least 50% of uh, the time that I'm using when uh, doing invoices because everything is here. You see all the loads that have been done. Uh, for example, uh, this uh, I put this in favorites. So whenever I click on, on this link here, uh, this board will show me the completed loads. All right, everything that has been completed in yellow here in the first column. All right, and that way we know that these loads have to be invoiced. And as soon as, as we uh, invoice those loads, we just change the status uh, here. It used to be completed. Okay, so let me show you. It will come here on top. So when you log in, uh, then you know that this load has to be invoiced. Okay, when you do your invoice, you just change the status to invoiced and it will disappear from here. It will go into the invoice uh, group or tab, whichever you want to call it. And that will be uh, a time saver. Also, if you have accounting, let's say you're a trucking company and you have accounting that's always looking for um, uh, bills of lading, PODs, um, uh, rate confirmations, and trying to group them together with your drivers. If you're a trucking company, no matter how big you are, this is for big trucking companies. If you have 50 or 100 trucks, it doesn't matter uh, because your accounting uh, will have access to this and they can go in and look, uh, sort everything uh, by status, by, by the driver. You know, you can click here and filter, filter by drivers, uh, filter by uh, anything here. You can do filters, you can do column settings, totals, ascending, descending, group by driver, phone, group by, uh, by driver, like this here, for example. And see, like this is grouped by each driver. So your accounting can go here and, and uh, see what every driver is doing when they're finished, change the status to invoice, and they have all the paperwork attached here so they don't have to go around, look physically for paperwork between offices or go through emails, uh, ask drivers, anything like that. It will be a time saver for them, all right? Um, now, uh, here we have drivers and you can add drivers here. Uh, if you click on new, it's very easy. I just put their uh, name and truck number and trailer and all that you can attach uh, their um, CDL, copies of the CDL, medical card, uh, uh, registration for the trucks, e everything can be attached here, all right? You just attach it and it's always there, all right? So when you add that driver, then uh, that driver will be uh, uh, here when you uh, go to your board, to the board of your uh, trucking company or dispatching company and you are about to add a new load. Let's say you just booked a load. So you will go here, click new, and then you would choose, uh, we, we choose in progress, but this is, you can, this is totally changeable. Uh, and then driver, you know, choose the driver and this is pulling it out, out from that list from before. And then origin, destination, put everything here, week, number, month, uh, and that way you can uh, group them together later and then you can add uh, your rate confirmation here. All right. You just add it and it will save it. So what's nice about that is that everything, all these loads will be saved. All the documents, all the loads will be saved here and you will be able to access them. Keep in mind that this uh, um, driver load tracker board is um, one price 
no matter how many users you have. You can have uh, unlimited number of users and unlimited number of uh, trucks and trailers and uh, loads in the system, all right? All for, for one uh, low monthly price that you can cancel any time if you don't like it, all right? So uh, you will have access to this and all the other dispatchers. So no matter where you are, are you in the same office? Are you uh, across the world? Everyone will have access to the loads, all right? Also, if you want to uh, limit the access for uh, certain dispatchers, for example, you have uh, one dispatcher that works with five trucks, you have one dispatcher uh, that works with 10 trucks. Um, what you can do, uh, you can uh, allow one dispatcher to have access only to their drivers, all right? So when they're, if they're working with 10 drivers, uh, then uh, that dispatcher can have access to the load board for those drivers and to load history for those drivers. That dispatcher cannot see uh, other dispatchers, loads and, and drivers, and you can reassign them easily between each other. Uh, also, if you are the boss or if you want access to oversee everything, you can access everything, all the loads, all the uh, dispatchers from anywhere in the world. Um, let's say there's an um, emergency over the weekend and you can't get a hold of, of the dispatcher that's working with that um, truck. Uh, all you have to do is go to the load board and find that load and you have all the, the rate confirmation, all the information for the driver, for the broker, everything is there and you can uh, access it easily or if you want to see what's what everyone is doing, like uh, all the dispatchers um, are um, looking for, for their own trucks for loads and you want to be able to um, oversee everything, see how they're doing, what kind of loads they're booking, uh, see the profits, see averages. You can do everything uh, here um, that way so you can uh, have access to all that. And speaking of that here, like you see, whatever you select, like here, the sum on the bottom, it will automatically show that the, uh, the total gross uh, was $40,000, that had miles, uh, loaded miles, when you uh, group them separately, you can see all the profits for uh, each group. So, and you can mess with that. You can uh, create different views yourself. All right. And then another thing that I like here is uh, the calendar. So, not many uh, TMS systems have these, and I I really love them, as you have seen. Uh, from uh, my spreadsheets. This is uh, really nice because you can see uh, all the days and all the drivers and uh, their uh, progress whenever they're supposed to be empty. Uh, and then you can, same thing here, you can click on the load and it will uh, show everything, the load information right here. And you can change it even to a monthly view so you can see uh, all the weeks and uh, a lot of things here on the side. So now uh, if you are a dispatching company, because here we have uh, both setups and we can do the same for you. We have a setup for uh, uh, our own authority and we have a setup for our uh, trucks that are dispatching. So here, for example, these uh, trucks have their own authority and you can see their uh, factoring company, DOT number and all of their information here. All right. And then you can, he uh, you can add uh, uh, their permits here. Uh, everything you need from them, W9, authority, notice of assignment, you can put all that here, all right? We are using a different uh, program uh, for that right now, uh, but you can put uh, the, the permits here for each different uh, truck, for each different authority right here in the load board. And then uh, coming back here to our uh, trucking, uh, authority here you can also uh, go to alert me and uh, it will alert you uh, for uh, status uh, changes like uh, someone else changes the item uh, something uh, happens it can uh, email you uh, send you daily summaries send you uh, weekly summaries you know if you are the boss or, or you know whatever uh, you need that summary for it can uh, send it to you every week uh, also, uh, you can uh, share access to, to this. Um, you can uh, copy the link, all right, 
and uh, you can send it to the broker. For example, you booked a load uh, with a broker from uh, Topeka. Let me show you. Uh, from uh, Topeka, Indiana to Lima, Ohio, and you booked that load uh, with Nolan, all right? Nolan Transportation, and Nolan wants uh, updates on these uh, on this load. So what you can do is uh, you can uh, copy the link or uh, you can uh, go here and share, all right? And uh, you can just put in uh, the broker's address here and then... Uh, uh, anyone with the link uh, can edit or just view, all right? Uh, they can view, and then you can set up the expiration date. Uh, uh, whenever that view is going to expire, you know, whenever the load gets delivered, and you can uh, create a password here for them. And uh, all you have to do is uh, send them that link and password, and whenever you change the status on uh, this load, uh, for example, at pickup, um, loaded, uh, in transit, delivered, unloaded, things like that, uh, the broker will be able just, uh, you know, to go to that link and see all the uh, updates. The broker does not have to contact you about that. Check out the link in description. If you have any questions, ask us, and uh, hopefully uh, we can start using these together because all of our dispatchers are using it. We are using it. We have been testing it for a while. It works. It's very simple, intuitive. Um, come back for more. Uh, check out the program. And uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.